has been challenging to say the least in lots of different ways. Um, as many of you know, Paul and I have suspended personal training and yoga as of Monday, uh, mainly in line with government advice, um, but also just to do our bit to try and keep everybody uh, around us and each other safe. Um, but I am really missing that contact with my clients, going to yoga, teaching yoga. Um, so yeah, really, really missing that. And so just wanted to bring you a few minutes of yoga from the comfort of our dining room slash workout room. Um, and it really is just going to be a few minutes of movement for any of you who are maybe now working from home uh, or maybe feel like they've been spending a lot of time sat on the couch because I know that I definitely I'm sitting there a lot more um, and so really it's just a little bit of movement you can do first thing in the morning or at the end of the day um, at any time and it is available to anybody in terms of ability so it really is just going to be a few key movements to get the whole body moving uh, and just enjoy it just enjoy moving the body and also just giving yourself a few minutes out from the stresses of the last week that I don't think anybody is going to be immune to. So, um, yeah, just a few key movements. Um, and yeah, just join along with us. So, Paul and I will hopefully be bringing you a lot more online videos. Um, so, this is a little bit new to us, so just bear with us um, and entertain us with it. Um, but yeah, just, just join along with me and, and let me know what you think. Um, but just grab a mat or a towel, anything that is going to be comfortable for you to be on the floor, on your knees. You can always double up with the mat if, um, if it's hard on your knees. So we're just going to start in child's pose today. So for those of you who are new to yoga or not sure what this pose is, um, so knees as wide as the mat or towel, whatever you're using, big toes touching. And then just start walking your hands out towards the front of the mat and just bring your forehead to rest down onto the mat and maybe just have a roll around here so rolling the forehead from side to side um, that might feel quite nice after a long stressful day and just start tapping into your breathing as well maybe rolling the shoulders but maybe taking a nice big deep breath so your belly kind of balloons in between your thighs a nice big breath in and a nice long breath out or a nice big sigh just letting go of any stress or any tension that you might have built up throughout the day. If you are sat um, at a desk, then maybe your shoulders might be quite tight. I think we're all going to be carrying around a little bit more tension at the moment. So just give yourself just a few moments to just settle in and relax and try and switch off for the next few minutes. This, um, this routine is not going to take very long. It's just moving through some key body parts just to get some movement. So now just start walking the hands really towards the front of your mat, maybe coming up onto your fingertips, just creating a little bit of space around your shoulders, just having a wiggle from side to side. And then walk your hands slowly towards your knees as you bring your bum up off your heels and just bring your knees in as we come into a tabletop position. So just setting up here, so having your um, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, so belly button sucked in and up, just to get that nice flat back, get that core engaged. And we're going to run through a few rounds of cat cow. So some of you might be familiar with this, and if you're not, then just let me guide you through it. So we're going to drop our belly towards the mat, almost rolling your shoulders, um, sort of backwards, opening up the chest and just looking up to the ceiling. And then just think about reversing the move as you tuck your tailbone, so tucking your pelvis, pushing up through the palm of your hands and doming your upper back. And then trying to move with your breath as well, just sort of concentrating on that, dropping the belly, rolling the shoulders, looking up to the ceiling. Then on an exhale, just tucking the tailbone, pushing through the palms of the hands, doming the upper back, feeling that lovely stretch. And then dropping the belly, rolling the shoulders and looking up to the ceiling. So just one more round here. So just tucking that tailbone, really pushing through the palms, getting that lovely stretch. Drop the belly, roll the shoulders and just looking up to the ceiling. And then just slowly coming back into your tabletop position. So core nice and engaged there. 
Then we're going to take the left foot and we're going to send it backwards, toes flexed. Really make sure that your belly button sucks in and up here so that you're not arching your spine. Just get that core engagement, find that stability. Then with your right hand, just send it to the front of the room or wherever you are. And then again, trying to move with your breath. So on an inhale, you're going to draw in, bringing knee to elbow. On an exhale, just extend everything. So toes flexed, fingers pointed, really stretch out. Inhale, draw in. Exhale, draw out. <coughs> Inhale, draw in. Exhale, extend. See if you can just reach a little bit further. Inhale, draw in. Exhale, just extend out. And then if you have it in your practice, just take a bend at the knee, bring the heel towards the bum, take your right hand up and over, grab hold of your foot, and just get that lovely stretch in your right hand shoulder, kicking that foot back. Nice bit of a quad stretch and hip flexor as well. Take a breath here, and then just returning the hands back down to the mat. Have a little bit of a wiggle out with your fingers and your wrists. And we do the same on the other side. So right foot, take it all, all the way back, toes flexed. And then left hand towards the front. And then on an inhale, bringing the elbow towards the knee, doming the upper back. Exhale, extend, toes flexed. Inhale, draw in. Exhale, extend. Inhale, draw in. Exhale, extend. Then bending the knee on the other side, rotating that arm backwards, grabbing hold of the foot if you can find it. And then just having a slight kick back of the foot, rolling that shoulder open. Nice stretch in your shoulder and your hip flexors. Core should be firing up as well, keeping your balance. And then just letting everything go. Just have a bit of a wiggle out here. Again, if you've been sat down more than usual in unusual places around the house, then it might be quite nice to just get a little bit playful and just move around a little bit on your mat, on your floor, on your towel. And then just coming to a place of stillness here, we're going to tuck our toes and then just think about sending your bum up towards the ceiling into what's known as your downward dog position. So hands here should be shoulder width so that you've got enough space for your sort of around your ears to open your shoulders up. And then just start taking your dog for a little walk here. So just dropping one knee towards the mat, dropping the other, getting that lovely stretch in your hamstrings. Just get some nice shoulder activity here as well. And so slight bend in the elbows. Think about sticking the elbows sort of out and round just to get that length there. And then just coming to a place of stillness again, we're gonna take the right foot and we're gonna send it up and back. So known as your three-legged dog here. So keeping the, float, the toes flexed. We're gonna come high onto the toes of the left foot. We're gonna start moving forward and take our right foot and place it on the outside of our right hand. If your foot only comes to here, that's fine. Just give it a little helping hand, just shimmy it forward, keeping the hands on the mat, just dropping the back foot, untucking the toes into what's known as your lizard pose. This is again a really lovely one for anybody who sits down a lot or any runners. Um, just really getting into your hip flexor here. You should have nice engagement in your right glute as well. So your bum on the right side. And feel free again to create a little bit of movement here. You can take the right hand and just start pushing your, your right leg out. Again, just to get, get as much as you can out of this stretch in your hips. And then keeping your left hand on the mat, just take your right hand and just send it up towards the ceiling, just going in for a revolved twist here. So just getting a lovely twist in the side and your lower back, you should still be feeling it in your hip flexor here. And then taking the hand back down towards the mat, just untucking the back toes and then pushing through your hands as you send your, your other foot back into what's known as your high plank here. So bum engaged, core engaged, and then just dropping the knees, untucking the toes, 
Taking the chest down towards in between your hands, keeping the elbows tucked in, and then just bringing your chest forward into your baby cobra. So really feeling the engagement, so glutes are engaged as well, and quads. And then just tucking the toes, pushing up through your hands, sending your bum back towards your heels, just into a very brief child's pose, and then pushing back into downward facing dog. So that's just one side now, so we'll just move on to the other. So again, just have a little bit of a pedal. Then take your left leg and send it nice and high, getting that lovely stretch in your hamstrings on the right hand side. Coming up onto the right hand toes, bring that leg forward, placing it on the outside of the left hand. Again, if this is your range of movement, that's fine. Just give it a little helping hand, shimmy it forward, dropping the back knee, untuck the toes and just get that lovely juicy stretch in your hips and again coming onto the outer edge of your your left foot if it feels comfortable just pushing that that knee out or anything that feels comfortable for you just don't feel like you need to follow on completely with this if there's something that feels good for you then then go with that and then keeping the right hand on the mat, we're going to take the left hand up towards the ceiling again, getting that lovely twist in your upper body. And then placing it back down and tucking the back toes, pushing through the hands as we step back into our high plank, dropping the knees, untucking the toes, chest and chin in between the hands, pulling the chest forward, elbows tucked in, into our baby cobra, exhale, release, tuck the toes, down towards um, brief child's pose here and then pushing that bum nice and high into your downward facing dog. So downward facing dog here, if you can't get your heels flat on the floor, which I can't, always got very tight hamstrings, take a slight bend in the knees and just make sure that your spine is nice and straight here. So you're almost taking your chest towards your thighs sending your bum up, but a nice bend in the knees if that's comfortable. Then taking the right foot, and this time we're going to bend the knee and just open up the hip there. So you're always stacking your hips one on top of the other. Roll high onto the left toes, bring the knee towards the nose and place it in between your hands. Again, shimmy it forward if you need to. Grounding down through the back foot, finding your stability, really using your core hands behind you and rising up <coughs> excuse me into your high lunge so in high lunge here you really want to be pushing through the back foot you should have that nice engagement in your hip flexors and pelvis tucked forward as well so you don't want to be arching like this pelvis tucked forwards hands nice and high taking a few breaths here to settle in then dropping the back foot and then opening out into your warrior two position. So just making sure shoulders stacked over hips here. Make sure that knee's not pushing in too much. So really think about rolling the thighs open. Couple of breaths here to just settle into each pose. Deep bend in the front knee. Just flipping the palms so it faces the ceiling. And then reversing your warrior. So getting that lovely stretch in the side body here. Checking in with the front knee, it's not tracking in. Just take that left hand, rest it on your thigh there. Again, just really enjoying that, that stretch in your side body. Then bringing your hands back to warrior two. We're just gonna straighten the front leg. Just shimmy that back leg in a little bit and then reaching forward, so sending those hips back, reaching forward and then just kind of hinging into a triangle pose. If you don't have the range of movement to get all the way to the mat, then um, grab, you can grab blocks. I'll, we'll, we'll go over that in another, in another class, but just hold on to your shin there. And again, just should have a lovely stretch in your inner thigh, your side body, your core should be engaged. Taking a deep breath in each pose. Take a deep breath in the front knee, rise back up to warrior two. And then take your right hand, just place it onto your thigh, brushing the mat with your left, and then just opening out, opening out there, getting that lovely core engagement inside as well. And then just taking that left hand, 
placing it down on the mat, turn on the back foot and take your right hand and just send it up towards the ceiling there. And so again, getting a lovely twist in your upper body, your right glute should be firing here. Then take the right hand back down onto the mat, pushing through your hands, step back into your high plank, dropping to your knees and taking your chest and chin in between your hands, pulling your elbows and chest forward into your baby cobra. So a nice little back bend, exhale, head towards the mat, pushing into your child's pose and then back up into downward facing dog. Have a little bit of pedal out here. So we're just gonna do the other side. And so left leg up towards the ceiling there. And again, gonna bend the knee, roll the hip open. So again, get that lovely stretch in your hip flexors. Try not to lose the integrity in your shoulders here, so try not to twist too much. Then coming high onto the right foot, bring the knee towards the nose and place it in between the hands. Grounding down through the back foot there, using your core, take the hands behind you, rising up into your high lunge. Don't worry if you wobble, it's just your muscles switching on, so they're doing a good job. Again, tucking that pelvis forward and then dropping that back foot and opening out into your warrior two. Again, checking in, keeping those thighs rolled out, uh, shoulders above hips, deep bend in the front knee, flipping your palm and just reverse the warrior. Again, that lovely stretch in the side, taking a couple of breaths, just settling into each pose, returning to warrior two. Straighten that front leg, just shimmy that back one in a little bit, sending that hips to the back of the room, reaching forward and then just hinging down into your triangle pose on the other side. So again, get a lovely twist and stretch in the side body and the inner thighs. Nice big deep breath. Take a deep bend in the front knee. Return to warrior two. Take your left hand and place it on your thigh. Right hand swoops down towards the mat, up towards the ceiling into your revolved twist. Again, core should be firing here. Make sure you're not dumping into your front leg. Take your right hand, place it down onto the mat, left hand up towards the ceiling for a lovely twist. Placing the hand back down onto the mat, stepping back into your high plank, dropping the knees, untucking the toes and coming into your low cobra. Then stepping down, pushing back, making your way into your downward facing dog. Take your right foot and just send it to the back of the room. Just roll that hip open. Coming high onto the toes, bring the knee forward, step up into high lunge. This time we're gonna stay nice and low. Bring the feet to meet each other, kind of in the middle of the mat there. And just let the head hang heavy. So just a bit like a rag doll. You can sway from side to side. Again, have a slight bend in the knees. You can hold on to the back of your knees, opposite elbows, and just try and let the weight of your head just really just lengthen your spine. Just get that lovely stretch. You hold your head up on your shoulders all day. It's really nice to just kind of let everything hang heavy. And then just release the hands to the mat and just heel toe your feet as wide as the mat and just come into a deep squat if that's accessible to you. And we're just gonna very slowly sit down onto the mat, soles of the feet on the mat there, and just very, very slowly come down to a, the best bit of the lying position, sit down onto the floor nice and slowly, get that core working, nice and slow. And then just bring those knees in for a hug, just giving everything a nice big squeeze. And then just take your right leg and just extend it towards the, the back of the room or wherever you are. Keep that left leg tucked in nice and tight. Toes flex, moving it around a little bit so you're almost trying to take your knee towards your, your armpit almost. And then take that leg, cross it over your body onto the opposite side of the floor. So going in for a supine twist, a lovely 
lower back twist here. Trying to keep your shoulders on the mat here, and if that's not in your range, then just bring your knee up a little bit and maybe rest your foot on the other leg. And over time, you'll be able to increase that stretch. So lovely, and then just bring that knee back up, and we're just going to swap over. So bring that knee in for a nice big hug. Again, if you can sit down all day, this is just really lovely. Whatever you're doing, just lovely to get some movement into the body. And just a bit of time out for your brain as well, because you're focusing on other things, which, which is really healthy. It's so a little bit of a roll around there, and then again, just swapping over sides. Might get a bit of a, a crunch in the spine, which always feels quite nice. Just everything popping. A couple of deep breaths here. And then just bringing those knees back in for a nice little hug, just giving everything a bit of a squeeze. And then just dropping the feet towards the mat. Almost so you can tickle the back of your toes. And then just squeezing that, squeezing your core in, so belly button in and up as we peel our bum up off the mat. Going in for a lovely bridge pose here. So again, stretching the front body. Basil's joined us for a brief cameo there. I think he thinks it's dinner time, not yoga time. So again, just whatever movement feels comfortable to you. And then just peeling everything back down, bringing those knees back in, just counteracting that, that stretch. And then just ever so slowly, just kind of coming into a tuck and roll and again, this can just be really nice to roll out the spine. It's quite playful as well, so it can just be quite a fun thing to do. So three or four of these. And then just coming to rest on your bum there into boat pose. And just a tiny little bit of core work to finish now. So keeping your chest open, so trying not to round everything. And then really slowly just extending everything out towards the mat, keeping that core engaged. And then coming back up. Again, moving with your breath. Two, three. So let's go for 10 of these. Four. I promise you this is the last little bit. Five. Six. Seven. Eight in there. Nine, ten, and then just hold, and then just let everything go. So just let everything kind of melt away. Um, I should have said at the start, just pick some nice music that you like to listen to, so that when it comes to this end bit, it's just really nice to maybe give yourself even thirty seconds just to um, just to switch off and just. Um, give yourself that time at the end of the day or in the morning just to be to have some quiet time Especially with everything that's going on at the moment um, I know my brain is exceedingly busy with work and family and and worrying about things so The least we can do is give ourselves um, 10 or 15 minutes of whether it's yoga running or um, workouts or whatever just to kind of um, keep that routine and keep the body moving so anyway i hope you enjoyed the video um, please just give us any feedback um, or anything that you'd like to maybe see more of um, you i'm sure you'll be seeing a lot more of us online now that we are confined to our home um, so yeah i hope everybody's keeping well and um, keep in touch thanks guys mm -hmm.